Welcome to Carefree IT TV. Auto archiving is an Outlook feature which allows us to automatically transfer or delete the old emails using the auto archive feature. The items are considered old when they reach the age that you specify. So you can specify a month or six months or three months as the as your requirement is. And uh, by auto archive settings, you can set your outlook to uh, archive those emails which are older than that age and they go into your archive.psd that we will see in few minutes. In order to archive, first uh, let's go to Outlook. Folder and Auto Archive Settings. Here you can specify if you want to archive the items in one particular folder or if you do not want to specify any, uh, like if you want to specify this folder to not go into the uh, archive items. We will see both of them one by one in few minutes. First of all, let's see how we can set a folder or multiple folders to auto archive. You pick up the second option, which is archive the items in this folder using the default settings. And you can change the default settings. So you can specify the auto archive to run maybe in 14 days or 30 days or more. You can ask the Outlook to prompt you when the auto archive runs. And during the auto archive, you can specify if you want to delete the expired items for the email folders. Now, uh, each folder in our Outlook has an expiry time. For example, these are the expiry times for each and every folder. For the inbox and drafts, it's six months by default. Sent items, it's two months. Outlook, Outbox is three months. Calendars, it's six months. Task, six months. Notes, journal, six months. And contacts, they never expire. So you will never delete a contact. Like Outlook will never delete your contacts. But anything older than six months for, from your inbox, or two months from your sent box will be deleted if you check this option delete expired items this is a good option if you want to clean up your folders by it's a, like if you want outlook to clean up your folders anything more than six months you do not need you can simply check this box and it'll delete it alternatively you can check the option for archive the or delete the older items if you specify the archive you can also tell Outlook how much time you want to keep these items for and anything older than that time period will go into your Outlook archive file and you can save that onto it's preferable to save that onto your network drive so that you have access to that from any of the computers on your domain and just in case anything happens on your uh, to your computer like it crashes or anything you still have your archived PSTs saved on your network share and you can tell your uh, system to pick up your network share which will be your shared drive and you can save the archive.psd on your shared user share folder now um, if you select the archive you can specify the same settings for all of the folders by check clicking this box apply these settings to all the folders which means it will apply this specified settings to all the folders that are available in your outlook or if you want to do it one by one you want to specify different settings for different folders you can select the folder and do the same thing for each and every one for now, we are just doing it for applies these settings to all the folders. And if you do not want to archive, you want to delete anything older than certain amount of time, you can just simply select this option, which will delete anything older than six months. Or maybe you can change it to seven months, six, five, four, three, any time period. And you can change it to weeks, days. 
and the outlook will delete them it will run every 30 days and check for those settings and if it finds those files or um, emails it will apply these settings it will delete them or maybe move them you can say okay and if you want one particular folder to not get the settings we can do that as well let's say i this is my folder which i do not want to archive i just want to keep all the emails that it has maybe for years like one year or two years i can keep all my emails important emails in this folder and that will always be there i pick up this option do not archive items in this folder so this will skip this particular folder from archiving and you can do it to any folder let's say this folder you go and you change it to do not archive so that will mean that this particular folder will now not be archived or if you want to pick up different settings you can just change them for this particular folder and there is a way to overwrite these settings you go file uh, file cleanup tools archive and you can say archive all the folders according to their auto archive settings which means the settings that we just now specified so we have few folders which have the options do not archive as selected and few of the folders have different archive settings if you select this one it will automatically do whatever you specified in your auto archive settings or alternatively if you want to change something somewhere you can specify it here let's say my outbox i do not i want older than maybe a 31st august and it should go to a different psd file we can specify that we can do that or if you want to overwrite all those settings which you specified for do not archive you can check this box and it will pick up all the folders even if you have the auto archives settings set to do not auto archive so this will override those settings and you can just say okay it will create a psd on your network share with your mentioned settings you just say okay Okay, we need to change the path here and so this way it will automatically every 30 days it will archive my emails older than three months which i specified in my default settings and anything older than three months will go to my archives and they will show up here under the archives this wraps up our outlook tutorial series we hope you enjoyed it please write to us at info at carefreeit.ca or leave a comment below if you have any further questions or comments Stay tuned for our next tutorial next week on mail merge feature in Office. Thank you and have a very good day.